few of us creatives have known about this update for some days now, but now it's officially here. It's on the Fortnite news page. And let me just say that everything you're going to see here is official. None of this I'm saying right now is a leak. It is official information coming to LEGO Fortnite. LEGO Fortnite is adding cozy mode and experts mode. Now, before I'm reading this article, I'm reacting to it just away, right away. What I got to let, let I would, I'm going to react to it and see if it everything is in here that I have been told about this game so cozy mode is as far as I understand it a mode where you just play and it's a little bit easier to build and farm and so on I think cozy mode is going to like be as like the same mode as we have right now a survival mode that's that's not really survival it, you're going to feel like you are overpowered as we are going to do now and then they are going to be a, adding a survival mode that's actually hard and it, it's going to be called experts mode and take a look at this sentence here it's going to be with permanent elimination remember the best way to actually support me is to use my creator code in the item shop or to just uh, subscribe to my channel or actually join the discord i will put up a uh, qr code on the screen so you can scan and join if you are on a tv otherwise there is a link in the description the new experts mode is going to be an equivalent to being a hardcore mode from minecraft or from other games that you might know so when you are dead you die Die and the game is over i know this from diablo i played that for 10 years years and years ago it's 20 years ago it started it and when you died you're dead so you can see when it like it's getting harder and i can see here there is new and enemy difficulty today that's the new setting you're going to get easy and there's storm wild animals so what i can um what i have been told from this storm wild enemies is that there are some enemies uh, with um with some rarity in them that might be uh, bigger and better than the normal enemy so let's see you can meet a wolf maybe and then you have a storm wild wolf that could be some of the wolves are just better stronger and like more dangerous than all the other wolves so if you are in this expert expert mode and you meet a wolf that that wolf might be a storm wild wolf so i don't like afraid of a white wolf yeah so you can see whoa now we're going to see some pictures here that's the first time i'm reacting to this so this is a storm wild brute so we have storm wild blaster storm wild bone wolf brute frost brute roller frost roller frost scorpion there's going to be scorpions wolves hermit crabs sand brutes rollers sand scorpions sand spiders so scorpions uh no, scorpions not new that's the small ones that explode i just forgot about it they that it, they existed so there are no new but they're storm wild so as you can see it's like they have been possessed by the storm from fortnite battle royale and they are just like they have maybe the storm sickness as you see in battle royale and this is perma elimination in this expert mode so you both have harder animals and so you can put the difficulty up to expert and then you can put in that there are storm wild animals in here i along others have been complaining about that there is a no real challenge to lego fortnite and let me just say they changed this i know there is a dividing opinion here between uh, the community and some are really hating on the fact that you have to create a new world in order to get all of these things but what do you think about this do you think it's a bad thing that you cannot change your settings do you think that they should allow us to change the settings every time they make an update i would really want these storm wild creatures in my normal world but i don't want all of my worlds converted into expert worlds i can see expert worlds being something that you need to start a new world to do so in my opinion they should allow us to like take off all of the other stuff and change the settings but going from expert and non-expert should be something that you start off from the beginning so there is one chance for you to revive and it's the totem of uh, return it's I, I think it's called a total of immortal i can uh, remember a totem of return yes so if you have this uh, in your inventory and when you die you can 
uh, respawn at the same point. So there is actually a way for you to build a reason for uh, to respawn. And these are also new things that are going to be added to the game. That is trophies. You're going to be uh, able to show off trophies in your base and build them depending on how good you are. That's a grasslands trophy unlocked that by defeating a stormwild brood in the grasslands uh, and then interacting with level 10 uh, grasslands village. And you can have it's the same thing with a sand brood and a frost brood. So now we have actual things like goals we need to hit in the game. As you can see here, there are uh, uh, expert mode settings when creating a new world. When creating a new mo world, if you select expert, there's enemy ons cannot be changed, cannot be changed, cannot be changed. Everything, I, as I see, cannot be changed. So as I talked about in my latest video, some of the things that you guys seem to hate the most is that you probably will have to start a new world in order to get all of these things added to your world. So as I keep saying and I, as I regurgitated from the news post here is it is in my understanding that you will never be able to change your game settings which I think is still uh, every time they do an update it should allow us to change in my opinion, the game settings once and for all. But uh, that being said, it won't be the same thing if you, if you earned one of these accolades of being an expert in a world where you didn't start out being an expert because then it will be actually like you were che che cheating your way to get there. So in my opinion, I think and I understand why you shouldn't be able to change the world. So all of our, in what I've, as far as what I can uh, understand from this, all of our worlds are going to be treated as cozy worlds going forward. I had a comment from one of the users in my Discord saying that uh, it's by place, saying that I th maybe it was on uh, YouTube, but he says that one of his worlds that was custom is no longer custom because he has lose his backpack off so that's I think it's going to be the new cozy settings is if, if you have uh, a normal settings but just keep your backpack that's going to be like much like the new cozy things maybe maybe not maybe it's like that but in my opinion I think that they are right is so in going to have to force us to make new worlds in order to choose experts mode i also think that many casual players will be joining lego fortnite just as cozy players and they will keep uh, adding these things into our new world every content thing what they have created here is essentially a new way to really have to play the survival part of the game and in my opinion that is a completely new game mode that they have added and right so they should add this as a new you should have to make a new game in my opinion i think it is a good solution and then there is also the fix to high complexity that's going to be maybe more like uh, explained. Some of it is because of low memory and some of it is because there's too many constructs nearby and they're going to be explaining that better in the warning. There is also more things that villages in the rebel village will no longer co counts towards the villager cap. I think they actually did that last week, but I'm not so sure. And skeletons. I'm happy about this, but read the sentence, will be less likely to spawn in villages. Lava caves and Star Wars Islands will have rubies. Yes, so we can actually go to the Star Wars Island and we can collect rubies in the lava caves. And we, I won't, I'm going to use this because in these caves, once you kill all the Star Wars troopers, you are free to just mine and to get everything that you want without getting uh, explosives thrown in your head. And also would do a better <coughs> job of avoiding campfires. That's your own animals in your base. So if you have cows, chickens, and so on, some of them just walk into the campfires and die. They tried to <coughs> they tried to optimize that. And there's a lot of other things that uh, wolves learn to swim. So what do you think about this new update? Is it going to have you play more or less LEGO Fortnite? I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.